hi this video is about moderator what is a moderator you have suppose two variables which are related a and b a third variable mo moderates this relationship between a and b you have a dependent variable you have here an independent variable then a moderator moderates this relationship between a and b this uh, moderator when you compare it with mediation in mediation uh, this variable mediates the relationship in moderation this variable moderator moderates the relationship between independent variable and dependent variable that means we can say mathematically moderator into independent variable it will cause some effect on the dependent variable there are different approaches to test moderation one of the most well known method is Eichen and West approach let's carry out this Eichen and West approach now we can here look at it here we have a variable called hassles then we have a variable called symptom we also have a variable called support our first hand in a, 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 a prior theory we have is that this symptom is a dependent variable hassles and support are independent variables let's run a regression analysis and uh, uh, see the impact of that we will put here symptom independent variable hassles is independent and support as independent will run a simple regression model now if you look at it r square is 0.343 it's okay however it's significant and why is significant let's look at the significant levels of the uh, predictor variables if you look at it hassles is not significant however support is significant now let's add a moderating variable a moderating variable is basically a multiplicative variable between both the independent variables so here uh, before doing that we have to use a concept called centering centering is nothing but we subtract the each variable from its mean there is a better method of doing it what we have to do is go to uh, uh, descriptive statistics and then go to descriptive and then just standardize a variable even that does the same thing like centering now go here click this standardization uh, uh, dialog box and we need to center now uh, hassles uh, okay you can center symptoms too and also the support now with this the variables are centered now let's uh, work the uh, now we need to compute that is we need to multiply the variable uh, independent variables that is hassles and support if you uh, simply multiply without centering then the multicollinear would be dominant and uh, that will uh, inflate the er er error standard error now if you i read i will name a variable called moderator then i take the z score of hassles then i multiply it with support so i have an interaction variable moderator which is a multiplicative effect of z score of hassles and it's a, a multiplicative is that uh, there is a second variable which is support now we'll run the model 
module is getting run now let us uh, run the regression analysis now here we will put in the moderator which is a multiplication of june hash into support we can if you want we can remove the unst and put only the standardized variable but it's not required just for the sake of showing you uh, the sake of showing i'm showing you now this is the standardization is sim symptom then hassles i put it in then support we run the model if you look at it the r square is 0.374 it has slightly increased from the earlier r square and if you look at it the moderator is significant at 0.1 level and also hassles is significant at 0 0.011 and uh, support is not significant so what this shows is that this moderate there is a moderating relationship that is when these variables are multiplied the hassles and support it affects the dependent variable which is the symptom in this case now let us plot this to get a more better effect in plotting what we do is that like we keep the dependent variable as it is independent variable as it is however for the moderator in this case uh, the mod moderator is a combination of these two this moderator would be plotted at different levels now there is a free software called interaction you can download it and use it for plotting it's very easy store it my file name is moderate uh, it's low the problem this my computer is slightly slow now here I would be assigning these values here when I'm using this software I can directly input the the symptom here that is the dependent variable the independent variable in this case was hassles and the support was the moderating or interacting variable I uh, select the values at plus one standard deviation and minus one standard deviation now the plot would be ready now if you look at it this is at mean level and the blue line is at minus one standard deviation below that is when support is low there is a uh, when uh, the impact of hassles and symptoms is a linear relationship or what we call it in, in it increases in a linear way in uh, the slope is higher compared to the mean slope when the support is uh, zero or there is a moderate that's a neutral support and here that is at one standard deviation that support is high the you, from this we can see how the relationship between symptoms and hassles varies as a function of support at three different levels plus one standard deviation with the mean which is a neutral value of support and minus one standard deviation which is the negative value of support thank you